Hey Internet friend, Magic Brad here with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative and the Synergy Lifestyle Academy. And I've got a, a person from the North, the Great White North. Her name is Samantha St. Marie. And I'm here in Minnesota, Minnesota for Cripe's sakes, and she's in Canada. Are you there? Can you hear me loud and clear? I can hear you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so the Internet is a fascinating thing to me. I end up talking to people on the other side of the world, and it's just amazing that you can can do that these days. It's fascinating. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. I have clients all over the world. I've got people in Hawaii, over in the UK, and yeah, we just, it's all over the internet. You Most of the time, you never meet in person. So um, where are you in Canada? Where are the west I'm side? I'm in Ottawa, said? so I'm in the capital. Okay, I don't, yeah. I'm not sure where that is. So uh, we're about a couple hours away from the border of New York State. Okay. So, yeah. So that's where we are. I'm about an hour away from Quebec, which is right on the coast there. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. So I've never been to Canada. Quebec. I've been close, but I've never stepped over the border. I was like about nine miles away, and I never went. <laughs> oh, well, we've got some Canadian food that you definitely need to try. So I know you guys are wild and crazy. I used to do uh, martial arts tournaments in Duluth, Minnesota, which is just close to Canada. Oh, wow. <laughs> my you, my is actually a, a professional mixed martial artist and he travels oh. in the states and stuff to do that too so yeah, yeah. canadians are crazy <laughs> well, you know, we try we try two thumbs up yeah <laughs> so you're married you got kids nope not yet not for a while I any fur think. babies oh two yes they're safely tucked away somewhere because they're very vocal so oh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I understand. So, as I mentioned, I don't do these real long because people have, uh, you know, you only got so many hours in the day. So, this is just to get to know who you are, what you do, where you do it, all that kind of stuff. So, what is it that you do? <laughs> That's a good question. So, I run a company called Red Rock Content. So, essentially, I am a one man show. I do outsource a lot of stuff, but I don't actually have staff. It's just me. I am a jack of all trades. Um, so I essentially help small to medium sized businesses grow through marketing and writing specifically. So one of my larger projects is I help businesses write their books and we create 30,000 word books that they then use in the place of business cards. Um, so instead of going to a conference with a business card, they hand somebody a book and that's extremely memorable. So very I mean, cool. Yeah. Um, so do you like like help them write the book or do you just help them get it printed and all that kind of stuff? So um, I actually, there's a company that does all the printing and stuff. I don't handle that part of it. I do all of the planning and all the writing. So there's an entire process where we get together via the internet and we talk about what the book's going to be about, what else, what's going to be in all the chapters. And then we get together once a week and we tackle one chapter at a time. And I essentially just interview them for an hour and I take everything that they say and turn that into an effective and engaging chapter that people actually want to read. And then at the end of it, they have a 30,000 word book that they can then you know, mail out to a hundred right. potential clients or take to conferences, whatever it may be. So that's a large part of my business. And then the other is, you know, uh, content marketing, social media, advertising, etc. That's very cool. I know that um, like everybody's kind of got a book in them and the ability to have a book, it almost instills instant credibility because you're an author and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. sometimes they just don't want to write it. They just can't, they, they, they could say it. Yep. And then you kind of transcribe it into a book and edit it. And yeah, really, that's, that's very yeah. interesting. I like yeah. that. Yeah, it's, it's true that everybody has a book in them, but they don't necessarily have the discipline to sit down and get it out on paper. Or some people just don't like to write. They don't like the... Well, part yeah. of it, they don't even know what to, like, oh, do I start with the table of contents or do I start uh, just writing yeah. or do I have to write chapter by chapter by chapter? Is there any structure yeah. to it? And uh, they yeah. don't know what kind of picture should I put with it? So that's what I think stops a lot of people is I don't, are there too many things to think about. Exactly. And a lot of people, when they're really close to the project, when it's their own stuff that they're talking about, sometimes they think that it's all important when really 
it's just a small amount that's important because what they know and what they want to say, average people don't really care about. Right. So it's also, I help guide them through the process of picking out what's important versus just, you know, information dumping. And there's probably that. things that are just the opposite of that too. There's things that they think are no big deal, but that's really important. They're such a big deal. Yeah, like very cool. stories of past clients that they have. Those are things that are so important and that people want to know about, but they don't think those are important. So it's about pulling that stuff out too. That's cool. I'm that's very interesting to me. I've heard of people that that teach people how to, you know, write their book. Mm -hmm. But the way that you're explaining is that it's kind of like we just talk and you you take the words and turn them into text kind yep. of stuff. Yep, yep. And it's all about making it sound like them too because it's how do they talk and, you know, what kind of words do they use and kind of taking all of that, those little pieces of information and turning it into something that actually sounds like them instead of sounding like me. So right. it's all about capturing that person's essence in, in the words as well. And do you work in any specific niche areas like uh, fitness, health and wellness or financial planning or? Yeah, so my background, I worked for many years in the recruiting industry. So I do a lot of business related books. So in terms of, you know, building a team, sales, et cetera. But I also work a lot with, I work a lot in the medical industry as well. Um, you know, stem cell research, plastic surgery, things like that. And then also with health and nutrition, I just wrapped up a book that was a combination of um, keto and the Mediterranean diet. And this person decided that she wanted to combine the two and create her own. So we just wrapped up a book about that. So it's kind of all over the map. But um, there are definitely certain areas where I have more of a primary focus. But, um, I mean, if somebody comes to me and says, hey, I want to write a book about knitting, I don't know. <laughs> you well, know, you never I know. Be able to sit down with them. And because, again, I'm taking their words and turning it into something. Right. So, yeah, yeah, I've got a, a background in magical entertainment. I did magic for many years. Yeah. I never really had a job. I just went in and I was a full-time magician. And, I, and you've heard of that book? Chicken Soup for the Soul with Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield. Yes. I have this idea to do something for performers that's along oh. the same kind of model yeah. of, a, of a book. It was good. So that's very cool. that, everybody's got an idea for a book, everybody's you know. Got an idea, <laughs> but everybody either finds a reason not to write it or right. you know, they're just, they just know that it's not going to come out in the best way. So that's, that's essentially, that's probably... 80% of what my business is, is getting, getting those books out of people and writing that content for them. Because, you know, you just said to yourself that there's only so many hours in the day, yep. they want to focus on other things. So I take that giant project off of them and I, I do it and then it's done and they can just then use it for lead generation purposes if they would like. Yeah, you're sort of an organizer, right? They take yeah. the, they dump all that stuff out and you kind of put it in there, organize it in place. Very cool. So if someone wants to do this kind of thing, the big question is, how do they get a hold of you? <laughs> so I have a, a, quite a large presence on LinkedIn, actually. So you can look me up. It's Samantha St. Marie on LinkedIn. Um, and then basically anywhere you look up Red Rock content, that's, that's where you would find me as well. So you can find me on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. I think Twitter is the only one that I don't really do. So I think Twitter's kind of fallen off now. Red Rock content. Yes. Well, I'm not sure about Twitter. Um, I've been doing a lot of stuff on Twitter, and you're right. It's not getting very much engagement because of all that stuff that happened. But yeah. it's very possible that they will fix that, and it will start so, taking off again. And then but, I can jump back on because I was doing it for a while, but I don't know. I just find that people are more active elsewhere. So They definitely uh, are. They yeah, definitely are. Yeah. Redrockcontent.ca is where my actual website lives. But other than that, you know, Samantha St. Marie all over social media, you'll find me anywhere pretty much. Well, oh, wonderful. Well, I'm going to go look it up myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I will uh, take this and I will beam it up to the universe and we'll propagate it out there to get people to find it. And hopefully there's people out there that have books and you can kind of turn them into, manifest them into reality. <laughs> okay. Magic. I appreciate you taking the time. If you want to stay on, we'll talk a little further. But other than I'm going to end this one and shoot it up to the universe. Okay, cool. Okay, peace, love, and happiness. Thank you.